Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought it'd be fun to bring you guys along with me as I got ready for a holiday party. My friend Cynthia from Darling Down South is hosting a festive Friendsmas at her house and I think we're gonna be doing DIY wreaths and that type of thing. So I'll probably bring you guys along with me a little bit there. But I wanted to share just me getting ready as far as my hair and makeup and picking out my outfits. And I hope you guys like it. This is my first get ready with me, so let me know what you think down in the comments. If you wanna see more of these in the future, then give this video a thumbs up. And also definitely subscribe if you are new here to my channel. I make girly fashion videos here on my channel every single week. All right, let's get ready. Starting with a damp beauty blender, I'm blending in Estee Lauder Double Wear in the color Ecru. And this is my favorite foundation right now. I have a lot of acne pigmentation to cover up. And then I'm concealing under my eyes and kind of highlighting my face with the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Fair and blending that in with the Beauty Blender. Then to add a little bit of dimension back into my face, I'm using the Kat Von D palette to contour my cheekbones and then around my forehead, my nose, and my chin. I personally don't love using concealer to cover acne spots, so I'm just taking the yellow powder and going over areas of redness, and then I'm baking my face to set everything in place. I haven't been wearing a ton of eyeshadow lately with my eyelash extensions, but I am just defining my crease and kind of blending a neutral shade under my eye just to give my eye a little more dimension. Then moving on to my brows, I use the brow definer in the color blonde and I kind of just roughly give them color because they're so light and then I blend it with the Omega shade and then I just kind of blend it out with a brush. I only use eyeliner with like special occasions or for photos because I hate removing it with the eyelash extensions but I do love the way it defines my eyes so I'm using it here and then I'm just brushing out my lashes. Then I'm just brushing off the excess powder from when I baked with the Laura Mercier and then applying some blush. This is from Cargo. I really like the color and then to kind of take away the dryness that the powder gives me I just use some Fix Plus with a brush. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my hair extensions in. I do wear halo type extensions. I just love them for the volume. My hair is long, but it's just, you know, it's just better with extensions. Um, I don't wear these during the week, but I wear them on the weekends. And for parties and stuff where I know there's gonna be photos, I just love having that volume. So I'm gonna put these in really quickly. Um, I just like these extensions. I hate clip-ins. They just take so long. They don't feel secure. You have to put them in the exact same spot every time or else they look uneven. Um, but I cut these just to be the length of my hair, just a little bit longer so I can grow with them. Um, these are Halo Couture. The color just matches me a little bit better. But I also like Hidden Crown as well. Normally I don't section off my hair, but I'm going for a bit, little bit bigger curls. And my hair just got washed this morning and it doesn't hold curl as well, so I feel like I need to do sections. I might even touch it up with a one inch after, just like my top layers, because they don't keep curl as well. The extensions do, and that's why I like still using a bigger barrel. So I just divide my hair in half, and I start from the back and work my way up. So I use a T3, I just like it, it's what I've had for years, but I like having multiple curling irons in one. They were like one of the first to do that and I got, bought it, but now there's a ton for a lot a more affordable price. I got mine during a Black Friday sale, so obviously saved more money there. When I'm done with the curl, I try to hold it in my hand because especially with the bigger curls just helps set them but it also makes them a lot bouncier because they don't fall as much i would love to wear these blue and gray pants that i've been living in and i haven't stopped raving about to y'all i seriously love them they're so comfortable and will be sad to take them off And I normally just put the finished hair 
in the back. But I just hold it just for a couple of seconds. It does take longer. Okay, there's on one side. You can see how much shorter they are when you fold them. But like I said, they're gonna fall out. And I also brush my hair out. So I just sprayed a little bit of hairspray in there. I think I'm gonna let everything cool down see how it's looking I always end up brushing out my curls just because I like them to be really soft and I'll probably pull them back in some sort of way we'll see but right now I'm gonna steam my skirt so let me plug that in clearly this is not planned out video I have to fill this up with water I did a bunch of steaming yesterday for a try on haul so I'm gonna do that real quick so while that is heating up again um, I guess I could show you guys this is the steamer that I have had I bought this it was actually on my registry and then I didn't have an iron or anything because I had just moved out of my house and needed something so I ended up buying this off my registry for myself and I love it. It's a little bit bigger because it has like a really big head. I don't know if that's what it's called. Um, but it does have a pretty small tank. That's the one thing. But it's a handheld seamer and this always gets the job done. It's really satisfying too. See it's already hot. Um, so I'm going to get back to steaming, but I use this on my bedding if I need to, like if people are coming over and it's super wrinkled because we have white bedding, um, I use it on all my clothes and it does have a turbo button. I don't, oh, I do have that on. Okay, done with the skirt. Um, this skirt is not the best quality. It's really affordable from H&M. There's strings coming off of it whatever I don't wear midi skirts all the time so I don't want to spend a lot of money on them um, but there still is a little bit of wrinkles at the bottom and I think it just has to do with the hemline not being the best but we're just gonna let that go um, this is a size 2 hopefully this outfit comes together I haven't tried it on or anything and I'm running out of time to get ready so I'm gonna slip into my outfit and hope it works <laughs> Then I'm going to slip on these fun shoes. These are perfect. Um, the dress code is festive, obviously. I don't think it gets much more festive than these. Right now, I like how my hair looks. I actually might not pull it back. I do still need to put a lip color on, and I'll show you guys my look. As I'm running out the door, it's time to head to Atlanta. It's about, a, it's like less than 20 miles, but it will easily take me 40 minutes, if not longer, with the rain in Atlanta. Okay, so I'm wearing this midi skirt. Like I said, this is affordable from H&M. This sweater from Target, I honestly have not stopped wearing this. I've already styled it two or three times on my blog. So this will be the third time I'm wearing it. It's just so soft and cozy, and I feel like it makes the look extra special with the fun sleeves. And then I have these bow earrings from J. Crew. I got these during Black Friday. And like I said, I wanted them. I might have cut that out, but I wanted these last year. But I'm actually terrified to wear hoops because I worry about my ears like getting pulled and I didn't buy them and then they ended up selling out. So when they came back this year, I definitely had to have them. And then for shoes, I'm wearing these fun sparkly flats. I'm just gonna be comfortable. But like I said, I am gonna bring rain boots just to keep my feet warm. So I'll probably bring those back there. It's honestly not about the look or anything. It's just about the function of having them. And I'll throw on a coat, obviously, because it's really cold. Oh, but here's a little sneak peek of the new shiplap wall. I painted it last night, and that was just one coat. I'm probably not even going to bother with a second coat. But yeah, let's head to the holiday party. Hey, y'all. I just got here. I had to circle a couple times because I'm not familiar with parking in Atlanta. So I'm in a lot now. I'm about to go pay for parking. It's so fun. And it's raining. But at least it's all inside. Um, finally put a lip color on. This is the one that I've been wearing lately. It's a nude color that I can get away with. It doesn't make me look dead. And I haven't put the gloss on yet. But that's what makes it. I don't like it on its own just because I don't love matte colors. Um, but I'm wearing my rain boots. <laughs> really cute. 
and I'm just gonna bring them in and change just so I stay warm and it's not worth getting sick over. I made it to my car it's so gross out um, it was like sideways raining on me and I had so much to carry but I made it I dropped my shoe in the rain a little bit but I have to show you my wreath when I get home it's cute but I'm trying to warm up a midi skirt on a rainy day is not the best idea but at least it was just across the street <laughs> All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me for this holiday party, and yeah, let me know if you wanna see more of these in the future. I will link everything that I can down in the description box below. Give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more of these Get Ready With Me's here on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.